All right, thanks for tuning into the Bass Channel today. This is Dave, uh, and of course I'm dealing with a short scale bass here as uh, I have been kind of doing a lot over the past year. And what we're doing today is we're actually going to be installing this EMG TBHZ passive pickup. So let's get right into it and do a little bit of an unboxing, shall we? All right. Flip open that inner box and there is your beautiful new pickup in some in some foam here to keep it nice and protected. And you've got some instructions. The manual contains all of your dimensions and your cable descriptions and everything so that you should uh, be all good to go. And underneath that, of course, is the hardware. So you've got a couple of pickup mounting screws. You've got the wiring kit and of course an EMG sticker, which I'm sure you've seen plenty of on this channel. So um, in here you can see that it's got pots, it's got connectors and it's got wires and it's got nuts and washers. So you should have everything you need in here. We've got a couple tools on the workbench. We've got a multi screwdriver guy. We've got this great 3D printed, uh, sort of a, like a mini tire iron for guitar shaped uh, nuts. And I will say, I did not 3D print this. I will talk about this in a different video. This is another small business guy that I found that does 3D printed utility stuff and it's pretty cool. So of course, to get started, you've got to strip your base. We got to take the strings off. We got to take the controls out. So let's go ahead and get started doing that. I'm going to loosen the strings. Then we're going to throw a capo on them so that we don't have them dangling all over the place. I'm just going to pull them out from the bridge to expose the lovely controls, pickups, pick guard area. Note, I put masking tape on the bridge posts because in this Gibson three point bridge system, those posts could rattle and turn and kind of get misaligned um, or thrown out of you know whatever height you had them adjusted at. So trying to make them not move accidentally while we're doing this. Okay, so we've got the strings off, we've got the bridge off. Now it's time to open her up. So I'm gonna grab a screwdriver and We'll be right back. Okay, everybody, we've got the pick guard off and we can expose the controls underneath here and the original pickup. So we're going to go ahead and take this out with the mounting screws. The pickup itself, the original is just an EB based rhythm pickup from Gibson. It's mounted on these little foam blocks here with a couple of springs and screws, which we will reuse for the EMG. All right, to take the pots off, we are going to use the, I believe it's the one half inch side of this wrench. It's a little T wrench, just like a uh, tire iron for your car. Pick guard is done with, and now I'm gonna remove the jack plate. Okay, so now we have our pickup is out, our jack, our pot, and our other pot are out. And the only thing left is the ground wire, which goes through the base and up into under the bridge area. So we're going to have to go ahead and cut this. I'm gonna leave as much of the ground wire as possible to attach to the new uh, pickup. But so we can, you know, we can clip that right here at where it is soldered onto the pot here. All right, excellent. And now the original wiring harness is completely off. Now we get to the fun part. Now we get to put our brand new pickup in and see how long it takes. And remember, I am not very well versed in guitar electronics. I don't solder, so I am thankful that EMG has this quick connector system, and we'll see how it goes. All right, so when we're connecting the wire to the pickup itself, right, you've got this five pin connector on the bottom of the pickup. There is an arrow on the face of the spade connector, the paddle connector, uh, I guess Molex connector is probably the, uh, you know, generic term for it nowadays, um, has a little arrow on the corner. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that arrow is facing you when you're going to plug it into the pickup. Now we've got the wire connected to the pickup and we can essentially just go ahead and insert the pickup. The rest of it's going to happen further downstream. We want to put the springs back in and we want to put the mounting screws back in, but EMG has provided us with new mounting screws which are over here. All right. So now we've got the first part of the install completed. So the next step is to plug the pickup into the volume pod. And that is the red and green 
And again, you want to make sure that you can see the arrow on the connector. And yes, all right. The arrow on this connector has the, the little holes in the middle. That's the side with the arrow. Those plug in all the way on the bottom portion of the volume pot, like so. Then you want to take one of the two connector black and white cables, run that. Again, with the arrow facing you, you want to run that on the next pair of connectors on the volume pot. Then these are going to go to the tone pot. But the next thing that we want to do is we want to connect this last one with just the one lead that is just to the ground. So this one we're going to end up connecting with the ground wire that's already right here. And if you're just running one volume, one tone, and ground, that last connector on the volume pot is going to go unused. I'm going to grab the tone pot. So again, you want to flip this over till we get the arrow that you can see on the corner there. It's a little difficult to see in some lighting, but hopefully you can see it on the camera. And you want to go in the bottom connectors of the tone pot. We can see HZ tone here. That means this is the bottom. Then the last two, that is going to be a cable that connects to your output jack. That's what this cable looks like. So it starts with another two connector, two wire connector, paddle connector on the end, and then it terminates in these two individual connectors that go on the lugs of your output jack. All right, now we plug that in like so, and then this is gonna go to our output jack. All right, so one thing about these EMG kits is that they come with an output jack that has a short lug and a tall lug that are marked S and T in the wiring diagram. So just pay attention to which one you're plugging the negative versus positive to. So the black cable goes to the lug marked S on the wiring diagram, which is the short one. And the white one goes for on T for tall. And we should be good to go from there. So now it's just a matter of literally buttoning everything up and attaching the ground. So let's go ahead and do that. So EMG includes this tiny ground wire connector so that you don't have to rip out your ground wire and you know attach an all new one. They just take this clamp and attach their ground wire here, the little thin one, to the existing ground wire on your guitar. Now, this one has a little bit of a large ground wire on it, but that should be fine. So we're gonna go ahead and put the two wires into the two holes at the bottom of this little crimp connector. Okay, and we've got those, they're both in there now. And I'm just gonna take some pliers and crimp it all together. And that should cover your groundwork. Let's go ahead and start putting things back onto the pick guard. All right, after that fast forwarded section, I finally got the pick guard back on and a couple things. EMG pots are solid shaft pots, so you can't just uh, go with friction fit knobs in most cases. Now we just uh, put the strings back on, put the bridge back on, not in that order, and uh, we should be good to go. Okay, everything is in, everything's on, the bass is tuned up now. Um, let's see how it sounds. I really like the sound, I really like, I mean, I like this bass to begin with, but I think this is just a little bit different from the stock pickup sound. And I'm talking to Chris off camera here, and we're just kind of, you know, uh, making notes back and forth uh, a little bit about it, but I like it. But that said, this video was mostly about the install of the pickup. And what was the install like? Well, 
I'm not a very organized workbench kind of a person. Um, and whenever I am doing anything technical, I build things, I make things. Uh, I'm always really messy and I'm not always the absolute pinnacle of efficiency, but I get there. And this EMG setup, this with the connectors, instead of having to solder things, instead of having to find the right volume uh, and tone pot values for your pickup set, it's, it's kind of a plug and play kit. And for that, I definitely give it massive kudos. Um, when you have your wiring all jumbled up under the pick guard, you know, you might be concerned that it might, uh, something might bump or, or kind of slide one of the connectors off. Uh, but I've not had that uh, kind of experience with this. Everything seemed to stay in place even while we were trying to massage it and get it under the pick guard, get all the wiring to fit. Um, so yeah, I think that uh, it's a nice pickup, but I think that the installation of said pickup makes it that much better. So while I am not Captain EMGs the way Chris is, I really appreciate it. And I think EMG makes good passive pickups too. Um, most of the pickups that we feature from EMG on here have been active uh, because they do a lot of active pickups. But don't sleep on the passives either. Um, between this and the geezer, uh, uh, which I have a geezer in one of my bases, and I think Josh has the geezer PJ set in one of his bases. Um, you know, EMG passives, I'm going to give a thumbs up. But for this particular video, I've got to say that the installation is like, if I can do it, then I'm pretty sure anybody can do it. If you just pay attention to the directions and pay attention to what you're doing, you almost can't screw it up. And when you do screw it up, or if you do screw it up, it's easy enough to, you know, slide the connector back off, flip it over and slide it back on, something like that. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, say that's it for me for this video. In the meanwhile, like and subscribe, become a channel member if you'd like to, uh, if you'd like to support us a little bit, a few bucks a month will get you, well, it'll get you the, the members only, super extended, embarrassing cut of this video at least. So if you wanna make me, if you wanna watch me making a fool of myself, then, um, well, yeah, more than usual. Uh, in this one. This was a, this was a, a hell of a video to, to shoot. Um, but otherwise, go ahead and uh, oh, maybe click through our affiliate links to buy your favorite gear from our friends at Zounds. Um, that helps us a little bit as well. Um, but either way, we enjoy the fact that you guys keep coming and watching our content, and we're going to keep making it. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys later. Take care.